So joining us on Fan TV after the 4-1 victory against the Telford Tigers, I've got Scott Robson and Owen Griffiths. Scott, maybe start with you first. That, that's perhaps as good a performance as we've seen all season. Yeah, um, everyone was going tonight. We worked hard, I think, for the majority of the game. Um, Yanis bailed us out uh, beginning of the third. Uh, that was pretty crucial, um, one goal game. If, um, but, I mean, the boys stuck, st stuck to it. Um, and you saw it yourself, so it was a good performance by us. And, uh, you, you know, shots, so statistics and shots on goal don't tell the whole story. But uh, obviously Telford came with a plan and, and they skate with a lot of intensity. They put us an awful lot of pressure. So, so really, the, uh, Owen, as a forward, you, you owe an awful lot to, to your Brit defence. Yeah, exa yeah, exactly. Um, Slava had like a, they know, Slava knows what they're like. Um, he knows how they play. They're a possession team and they, they, they've transitioned well and they use the puck well. And um, we just had to push up the ice tonight and give our D the best chance we could to stop them and get our transition going and moving and put the pressure on them. So um, Yanni had to do his job, but um, that's what he's there to do. That's why he's the number one goalie in the league. And he, he helped us a lot tonight. And um, I think we deserve the two points. Uh, yeah, well, over the course of the game, we absolutely do. And uh, about a minute and 50 seconds, a couple of minutes before the end of the second period, of course, uh, Peters put away that penalty shot. Re they're rarely given in this league. They, you know, we, do, we don't get the ones that I think we should get. And he did, you know, crucial goal, Scott. Yeah, it's, I think it's the first time in a while that I've seen a penalty shot awarded like that. I think he had to call it because the puck was loose and Martin's buried at home. Um, I think he had to call it. But, yeah, Peters... Peter's is very good in the shootout. Um, he knows what he's doing, and I called it with leaves. I called the move, and he did it. So it's good for Peter. It was certainly, it was a great move, and and crucial in the context of the pressure that Telford had been putting on on the uh, on Yanis's goal. And of course, the, it seemed a different Phantoms performance in the final period. It gave us a lift, and uh, and obviously we had to soak up pressure, but but actually created carved out more chances. Yeah, um, like Slava at the end of the second, he come in and. Um, he said that the next goal was the big goal, and 2-1. It's a one-goal game, and you need that. Ex you need that goal. You need that lead, especially against a side like Telford. So um, when Martin stepped up and he got us a big goal, and it just the momentum, momentum just carried on from there, and we sealed the two points. Just, just a couple of more questions. Um, just uh, thinking about. Um, well, I was going to talk about the uh, the. Uh, <laughs> empty net goal. No, we, up, up on the gantry, we, we think your eyes were shut, Owen, and you just swung. Uh, well, uh, oh, as soon as I, if as soon as I come off the ice after it went in, um, leaves and whilst they give me some jip, they were like, if that misses the net and it comes down for an ice in, and then they go down and score some three-two game with two minutes left. It's, it's a lot of pressure, but luckily it went in for me and the team. So happy it went in. Never in doubt. And, and Scott. How important was that performance in the context of the weekend? Uh, last night we, we, we kind of bailed five goals and then, you know, struggled again in Hull. Yeah, it's important to finish the weekend uh, 50%. Um, and it's, we had a dis disappointing performance last night in Hull. But like you saw, like everyone, everyone worked hard tonight. The goalie, the D, the forwards, everyone, everyone knew the job, everyone pulled through. And it was important for us to bounce back like we did in the manner we did tonight. And one last question, and again, it really needs to be to you, Scott. Next weekend's a crucial, crucial matchup in Guildford because we can still make the top four, the final four for the cup. And I, I think the club feel, the organisation, the players feel there's unfinished business regarding the, the way that we lost the cup final last year. Yeah, um, I mean, it was our goal, one of our goals start of the season to make the uh, cup semi-final. Um, it just happens that this game against Guildford in Guildford is going to be a huge huge performance obviously for the boys who was on the team last year it was very disappointing to go there in the first leg of the final and lose the way we did and it's, it's going to be a very important well it's, it's important for everybody but I mean I think it's going to have a, a special meaning to it yeah, I think so so Guildford away Hull at home um, well done this weekend or certainly tonight a great performance and uh, we'll see you next week